is it recording okay yes hey fam welcome back to our channel your channel happy friday night um as you can tell by the title of this video this is going to be kind of a fall my fall my fall home tour if you will i'll go ahead and warn you now i have showed you snippets of little pieces of fall here and there a couple of videos back not a whole lot from that has changed. I'm just one of those people who don't really like to interrupt my decor. <laughs> unless it's Christmas, of course. So I'm going to show you some changes that I have made um, outside of fall. Plus the stuff you've already seen, which was little bits of pumpkins here and there or what have you. But there's some changes that have been made to upstairs. So that is what I want to share with you. So if you're interested... And my semi-small fall home tour of the living room and kitchen for your area kind of sort of. Then keep on watching and as well as some of the other changes that I have made in the event you are refurbishing, refreshing your home for the holidays or just in general. So, keep so I'm actually going to start outside because I actually did decorate the porch for King and my other grandkids. So this is kind of what it looks looks like out here on the porch area right there and then of course i have my little wheat reef on the front door so let's go inside okay so right here in the foyer you guys have seen this already and it's just basically the little trees that i created i did a diy on those i think i shared that video with you guys I always light a candle for when, you know, people come over. You want your house to smell really nice. So, this is like my little fall vignette here. Also, on the door right here, I've added a wreath that I actually hauled as well. Um, and so, I'll come back up here so that you can kind of see what it looks like coming up the steps. And I'm going to try to be really still. So, that's what the foyer looks like. And the rug is actually in the... Uh, laundry right now so on the wall here i've added a couple of those little blinged out whatever you want to call them i've added those as well i'm gonna give you a pan around of the living room now because there has been some changes made in here as well i'm gonna go really slow because i know i can go fast and then we will talk about, I've even added something else over there. Uh-huh. Couple changes um, since you guys have seen it last. We'll talk about all of this stuff here in just a minute. I have my pumpkin pillows here on this side. And then... We will, oh, did I show you the couch? I'm sorry. I don't know if I showed you the couch or not. This way here. And vacuum cleaner there. Pay that no attention. Okay, so. This pretty much was here when you guys seen the tour of the house last. Um, again, there is the foyer area down there. Um, over here, you will remember when I first showed you the DIY rustic table, I had those two big um, circular vase thingies on there. Well, since um, that piece has come, I have kind of didn't want to obscure the view of that. So I moved them on the railing, which I actually like a lot better there. Um... I'm going to come inside here and show you the pillows first this direction. So basically I brought in, because you know my accent color up here is the royal or navy blue, whatever color that is. A lot of you guys always ask me what that paint color is. I think it's called So Navy by Sherman Williams, I think, don't quote me on that. Um, but I've added some velvet-like faux pillows to bring that color more into the space as well as the neutral ones that are in the back um these pillows either came from home goods or um marshall's one of those stores
first. The one in the middle is also a new addition. And it just looks like that. It has like some little beading on it. Very pretty. You know, I like to mix some um, patterns and things like that. So, I think that looks really pretty. And it really pops that blue off. Over there, those pillows are pretty much the same. Um, I did purchase new throw blankets. I had to take the white ones back because, uh, even though these are a little bit light as well, but I had to take the white ones back because they were too, too white for the space. So I just have these two throws that are at the exact same, <clears throat> and the kids actually love snuggling up against them. There is the DIY humongous table that actually does not look so so big i will try and leave a link down below to the old tour of this room as well as anything that i mentioned as far as like the diy table in case you're new here um the items that are on this table are pretty much kind of the same with the exception of me moving the bases however this is also going to change that um and i'll show it to you i just i won't even talk about it um, I've also added two blue panel curtains over here on the window. Um, they're, they're normally pulled in more so that you can see more blue um, at night. But during the day, I kind of push them back so that the natural light can come through. They are very heavy material and they are from Home Goods, And they were like 96 inches long. So they kind of pull on the floor if you can see there. Over there on the wall is the DIY upcycled sconces that I did. And I added a little uh, crystal um, to the bottom. Those are the Dollar Tree mirrors and then a few rhinestones at the top. The tie backs are, I just hung them on the ends of the curtains there because I like that look better. I'm kind of over tying curtains back, if you will. Um, and so the dragon which is a piece I will never part with. That is over there. So that's how the back of the chair looks. I'm trying to get as much of it in here as you can see. Um, behind the chandelier, that is a new piece. That is from Home Goods. And it is like one of the... Um, it's pretty freaking big, to be honest with you. The camera is not doing it any justice. But it has the cutouts in it, and it's more of the silver sparkly um look it's from home goods and it was actually on clearance for 55 dollars and so you know i couldn't leave it there um i still have i don't know if you can see that i still have quite a bit of wall left and i think what i'm gonna do there is i'll keep it a secret and i'll just show you when i do it never mind right now i am burning birthday cake candles which are from tj maxx and it smells like a bakery in here so that's how this looks one more time there. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Um, everything is pretty much the same over here on this side. And I'm going to come over here so that you can see what I've added. So over here, well, we'll start here. Okay, so these were DIYs. I'll try and link that video down below in case you have not seen it. Those are the DIY uh, circular mirrors that we created. Which I absolutely love. You know, I am a mirror girl at heart. As you can see, mirrors just open up spaces and make things appear larger. Um, right here, I have um, my pumpkin pillows. Those chairs are from Target. Those um, claw for burlapy kind of pumpkins, I think, are from Target maybe last year. Um, over here, I have added two royal blue benches with acrylic sides on them if you can see that um and then these pillows so the benches are from the at home store the at home store as well as the bedazzly pillows here this pillow is really sparkly as well as that one and i purchased two of them because once i removed the white dresser it opened up the space so now let's talk about the main attraction here in this room okay fam so you guys know i was on the hunt for 
a mirrored piece of furniture, okay? And if you know anything about mirrored furniture or love it like I do, you also know that it can be expensive. And I was looking at lots and lots of pieces online that I just did not want to pay that price for. So what I did was I went to the at-home store. And what you're looking at right here, this piece and this piece, that's two separate little chests, okay? And they are basically the same height as that. It's basically what it is, just a different style. But it's just like that. So it's two pieces, actually. And what I done was I built this part down here because these were not high enough for me. I wanted them to be closer to the TV. The width was fine because I wanted a lot of floor space, which I now have, now that the dresser is gone. Um, and it's not as, I'll get on this side so you can see, it's not protruding out like the dresser was. So that part was fine. They just were not high enough. So what I'd done was I cut the legs off. I have four legs on each one. I cut the legs off and I built this box on the bottom here and sat them up on top of the box and then bolted them to the box from the inside. Now I want to come down closer and show you this. You may see some knobs here and it looks like drawers. Right? Can you see those knobs there? I've added crystal knobs. I've actually changed all the knobs out. They had brass little handles on them. Okay, so what I've done, what that is, is everywhere you see a knob, that is actually a picture frame from the Dollar Tree. The mirrored picture frames from the Dollar Tree is what I use to cover up the box. And then there's that's mirror down there as well, but it's reflecting the carpet. So it's actually mirror on the very bottom. Those are Dollar Tree frames with the mirrors. They just happened to already be in black, so that was perfect. And this piece here with all the square and round mirror, I added that so that it would look like one unit, as well as on the sides as well. So that's a mirror over there, and I just used the leftover and just kind of did a little pattern over there on that side. Um, so in this one is um like DVDs and the kids toys oh, i'll show you it's not organized just yet but i put a basket in there with the kids toys so that when they want to play they're in there and then dvds on the other side over here in this one is where i keep all of our extra blankets and throws at so that you know whenever we're always entertaining this is like the company house and then the same thing is on this side as well as on that side so basically i raised this up by i think that thing is probably about 16 inches so i lifted it up 16 inches because i wanted it to be really close to the tv so that's how that looked and being that it's mirror and it's in front of this massive size table it actually is giving the illusion that this room is larger than what it is on top, you see those three little pots. Those are all from uh, Home Goods, and I only paid I think like twelve ninety nine for them. And I wanted to put a pop of color in here. You know, hot pink is my pop for that something extra. Um, and so I just put three of them there. And I can't now. I'm not so bothered by that little cordy thing right there because it's kind of disappearing there. So that's all I'm going to be able to put on this stand because it's so close to the TV. Anything else, anything higher would cause you not to be able to see the TV. So I had to go with something lower. So that's how that looks. So again, that's two separate cabinets that I just pushed together and built the base and created it to look like full drawers. And then just added um, some mirrors to make it look like one big unit and i absolutely love it and again those benches okay so the benches i told you are from the at-home store again i'm pulling that royal or that navy whatever color that is over here on this side of the room they were originally 199 
they had them marked at 25% off, but they hadn't got back around to mark them again. So I ended up getting them for 50% off. So I only paid $100 for each one originally. And because the acrylic, you can't even see it. I don't even know where to show it to you at. But the cashier um, saw like some little scratches, very minute. I didn't even see them. And she called the manager up and asked if I could get an additional discount. So they took another 15% off of that. So I paid less than $100 for each one. And I love the acrylic sides because it gives the illusion that they're kind of floating there. And it doesn't, it's not so intrusive and take up so much space. And again, those lamps are going to change. Okay. I'm going to move those downstairs in the soon-to-be guest bedroom that's going to be downstairs. And there will be new lamps in here. So that's what this looks like from this side. And again, the table, that piece on the table, the mirror tray is going to change. I'll show you the update when I do that, probably tomorrow. And so this is how it's looking. Here is the other... Um, DIY Dollar Tree Sconcy Upcycle and another little crystal hanging off of it. These are probably coming off looking purple on camera, but they are like a velvety, like a sh oh, I love these curtains so, so much. I love them. And they were to both panels, 96 inches long, I believe, on for $19.99. Good quality, heavy, sturdy. So I'll just pan around really slow. You saw those mirrors already. They've been here for a while. The wallpaper I got from a local um, wallpaper place here in my city. Um, and again, if you are brand new here and you like those mirrors, I would suggest that you try and get them from either Home Goods or wait until Hobby Lobby runs 50% off because I only paid $100 each for mine. And Hobby Lobby has the exact same ones for $199 for one. So I would wait until you can get them for $100. And again, I love that piece over there that was on clearance. I'm loving how the two ball things look back there. The clear, I'm loving the clearness of them because again, it's not taking up like in your face. So I'm loving that. Um, and again, here's what the couch looks like. I got a new vacuum cleaner, y'all. Don't pay no attention. That's what this side looks like. I'm trying to go really slow. I'm trying not to make this video too long. And again, there's that piece. And those were $199. Um, was it $199? No. They were also 25% off from the at-home store. 25% off of $199. Those were. So, not quite $200 each for those. But I actually customized it to what it was I visualized because I couldn't find it anywhere else. So, that's what my updated living room looks like there. And again, there's the uh, table there and the foyer there. And then we'll come into the kitchen. Let me move my purse out of the way and show you what it looks like in here okay so right now I just have this runner which I think is very pretty tomorrow the table will be getting painted I'm gonna chalk paint this table over again because I have ruined it but this runner is so pretty to me with the beaded detail leaves on that I would totally leave this out all year and it's like an oatmeal type of color it was only $16.99 from Marshall's that those little pumpkins are my fall addition because they kind of go with the decor and the silver, the whole bit, or whatnot. I'm loving that tablecloth. I mean, that table runner there. Over here, I've added a little pumpkin there as well as these hand towels with the little pumpkin on them there. You guys have seen this already, that little area over here. I added some harvest hand towels to the stove area. Over here um, is our little candy station that I DIY'd for you guys. As you can see, the candy is dwindling down. So this little area, there's my beautiful three-tier tray that I'm going to keep out all year. I love that thing. I love, love, love. 
Um, so this is my kitchen fall look or what have you. The little wooden pumpkin. Friends and family gather here, which is so true. Um, and then just little decor pumpkins and whatnot on the three-tiered tray there. And then on the island, I have the same thing. Still have not wrote on this thing with chalk yet. What is my problem? The candle that I am burning in here is called White Pumpkin. That is from um, TJ Maxx, I believe. And so this is the kitchen. Of course, a fresh baked pie sign is still up there. And again, that blue is being played off of. It looks black from here, but it's actually blue. You guys have seen this more than one time. And I painted that that color as well as the canisters so here is what the kitchen area looks like for fall not a whole lot has changed um I did change those curtains up but I believe I did show that to you guys and then here is this area and that is all the fall that I'm going to be doing here in my home um, because I just don't like to disturb. And then again, I don't have, this is a small home, so I don't have a whole lot of space to pack. I need everything that I use for season to be able to pack into a tub and go underneath the step. So, Christmas is a whole nother story though. So, that's what this looks like. I'll show you one more time. I am a mirror girl at heart, if you don't know. And now you do. And again, over here, I'll show you this. Over here, I'm getting in this far back corner over here if I can. Not break my neck. <clears throat> and that's what this looks like, fam. Hope you enjoyed my home tour, my fall home tour. I'm loving those benches. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. It really seems like this room is larger than what it really is, but it really isn't. Now the table doesn't look so big because it's reflecting in the uh, piece over there. And again, the foyer area down there. And my handle fell off, which I need to fix before somebody try to sue me and fall down the steps. Okay, fam, so that is it for the tour. Okay, fam, so that is going to bring our fall updated kind of addition to an end. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's so good to see you. We'll be in front of you. I know I've been kind of behind the camera a little bit. Um, working long hours of, as always. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you got some tips that you can apply to your own place. No matter how big, no matter how small. You know, I have a small home, so I have to work with what I have. You know what I mean? Um, and that's it. Everything down here still looks the same. And, oh, there's a little pumpkin there. So that's my fall addition for down here. And that's that. Hugs and kisses. Mwah! I love you, fam. And I will see you guys in another video really, really soon. I'll show you guys the update that I plan to do to the table. Um, as well as the wall underneath the uh, new piece that I just showed you. I'll show you that in another video separate from this one. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you guys really, really soon. Everyone stay blessed. Stay positive. Stay prayed up. Don't let nobody dictate your mood. I don't care what is going on. Don't let them dictate your mood. Do something good for yourself and always do something good for someone.